Well, we went through, uh, in the last 60 years, uh, a tremendous change and uh, in so many aspects. And I'd like to start with the population. Uh, in 1961, the total population was about 300,000. Today, in 2014, we are almost 4 million. And at, uh, 1961, the Kuwaiti population represents 50% of the total population. Unfortunately, now we represent less than one third of the total population. If we see our dependence on oil in the early 60s, we were highly independent. Now we are more dependent on oil, even uh, our national uh, income, our GDP, uh, our revenues in the budget. And the third, most of the Kuwaitis, now the national uh, labor force, they work in the public sector, where in the early 60s, they were working in the private sector or independent uh, businesses. So I think these are major ch challenges. If we look 50 years from now, I think we need to work hard to face these challenges. Having said that, Kuwait uh, really achieved a lot on the education front, on the health front, on really bringing the country to become uh, a modern country, to uh, develop their institution, and also to have uh, a very unique democratic system where you don't see it in the Arab world. Uh, and that's why what the so-called Arab Spring, we had it in Kuwait more than 50 years ago. So, uh, and we have a very unique relationship between the ruling family and, and, and the people. Uh, so, as any other country, we are facing challenges, but we have a lot of opportunities, and uh, we are very optimistic about the future of the country, where now both government and the parliament uh, have identified these challenges, and really they are working on solving these issues that will uh, really utilize the opportunities and, and uh, uh, achieving the, the national goals uh, of the country. I believe in, in the last two years, we saw a, a, a tremendous uh, concern and uh, initiatives for the youth in the country. And I would like, uh, if, if you allow me to speak about the National Youth Project. Uh, two years ago, His Highness the Emir, in his uh, speech in the National Assembly, he uh, announced uh, an initiative that he will bring the youth under the umbrella of the Emiri Diwan, and also to listen to them and will help them to develop their national strategy. And uh, I have the honor to uh, manage this project uh, for a full year. And what we have done, we brought young people from age uh, 18 to 23 from all uh, NGOs, whether it is the uh, the Economist Society, whether it's the Lawyer Society, the Environment Protection Society, about 33 uh, uh, institutions, uh, 33 NGOs. And they came together and we trained them how to do research and also how to communicate with each other and how to discuss and debate, and they come up with 10 uh, priorities, uh, starting from the national unity, education, health, environment, sport, uh, uh, small businesses, inter small businesses uh, changing the laws and regulations in the country, uh, and really so many aspects of, of their lives and the, how they look at it. And then they took these, uh, priorities and they went to the public, they went to the uh, 
universities, they, of course they use the uh, social media and try to develop these ideas through different meetings, through different uh, programs, initiatives for a full year of, of uh, activities for the youth. They come up with uh, what we called it the National Youth uh, Document, which represent their views of how they would like to see Kuwait in the future and how they can participate in, in, in building the future of the country. Uh, His Highness the Emir attended the, uh, the final uh, ceremony of, of this project and uh, he received from them this document. Immediately the, the week uh, after, His Highness the Emir called for uh, a meeting for the uh, Council of Ministers and he submitted to them this document and asked them to start working on implementing these ideas. And one of their ideas is to have a, a special ministry for youth. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, really one of their uh, ideas and priorities. And now we are in the process with the government to implement these ideas and these priorities uh, uh, that they have represented uh, a year ago. So <clears throat> I believe this will really uh, represent uh, uh, a milestone uh, in, in building our future, where youth, as you know, 60% of the total uh, nationals population are under age of 25. So we'd like to see them having a bigger role in, in building uh, the, the economy, the society uh, of, the, of the country. You know, if, if we go to the business economic side of the, of, of the equation, one can see that we had before small institutions such as the Industrial Bank, where they have a portfolio to help the young uh, sm and small businesses. And also we have the, uh, a company that was um, uh, in charge of giving loans and, and also participating in any project with the youth. But unfortunately, that wasn't enough. The growth in demand really was, was amazing compared to only these two institutions. So the government came up with this uh, national fund now for SMEs and with a capital of 2 billion KD, it's about 7 billion US dollars. And now they are working on their uh, strategy. And it's not only the idea is to finance uh, th these projects, but also to help them how to build these projects and, and the business plan, their their marketing, their accounting, and, and so forth, so on and so forth. So I think this will be a, a major step forward in, in uh, building the youth to play a major role in the economy. Having said that, how the public sector can help to expand the role of the private sector? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, 40 years ago, the government started to crowding out the private sector from the uh, economic activities. And that was a result of the global ideology at that time, that the public sector should lead the economy. And we had so many uh, examples of, of other countries in the world. And then we moved to uh, that the public sector will own the company and try to be independent uh, but unfortunately, there is no way you can extract politics from running a business. And now we are in the process where globalization and the role of privatization started with Mar Margaret Thatcher, with Ronald Reagan, and now we see it as a new ideology, ideology in, in the country. So we are moving also now uh, with a new privatization law. Uh, and we started some examples. Built the first uh, power station will be built by the private sector. Mm -hmm. The contract been signed and we hope the project will be uh, ready by mid-2016. Uh, 
The second is privatization of our national carrier, Kuwait Airways. Mm -hmm. And now we are moving really slowly, but I hope we are in the right track to uh, enlarge the private sector and changing the role of the public sector from owning to monitoring and regulating the economy. You know, uh, under the leadership of His Highness the Emir, we continue to play uh, a major role, a regional major role in the uh, international arena. Kuwait is an unallied country, and we always uh, try to keep the, our position uh, neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, and if 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 you uh, do a survey about all the uh, regional issues and conflict you will find Kuwait to play a positive role in solving these conflicts and also to help in a humanitarian way look uh, to uh, international uh, meetings happened here in Kuwait uh, to help uh, the Syrian refugees. Uh, we had a major role in uh, the relationship between the US and Iran. Uh, we played a major role in Lebanon uh, so in, in many different areas, and this is based on the experience of His Highness the Emir. Uh, he was a Minister of Foreign Affairs more, for more than 40 years. And this is not only from the political side. Kuwait, the second year after its independence, they established the Kuwait Fund, and they started to allocate part of the national wealth to help uh, Arab, African, Asian countries. Mm -hmm. And Kuwait is one of the largest donors as a percentage of GDP in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will continue playing this role. We will continue to keep Kuwait uh, playing a positive role uh, in, 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 in protecting the national interest of the country and of the region.